Cross-border payments are a global uh, service. And as a global service, uh, a lot of banks globally are involved. Uh, when we look at finding solutions with multiple banks or even non-banks, uh, you can only use or you can only solve these problems in a community approach. GPI particularly is all about reach. You only achieve reach by addressing uh, pain points and finding solutions for that in a uh, community environment and uh, I think GPI is a fantastic example where banks come together, find solutions and create a better customer experience on a global level. The credit confirmation is the last step in creating an end-to-end -end trackability uh, possibility. Now, irrespective if you are a GPI client, uh, a GPI Live Bank or not, uh, the mandatory credit confirmation provides that end-to-end -end, um, trackability, and therefore GPI comes full circle. And with that, uh, every payment that is on the GPI rails will be uh, will be visible end-to-end. Clearly for us right now, this is the G case. Uh, the G case, as I said earlier, is the uh, next level evolution to what we have already created with the stop and recall process as a community. Uh, G case has twofold advantages. One for the bank internally, because the automation standardization that G case uh, provides uh, enhances the efficiencies of every bank's uh, operational uh, inquiry uh, handling. At the same time, there's benefits for the customer because the customer can uh, directly track uh, the status of the payment inquiry without having to reach out separately to its bank.